there is no intro for this one. Um, I don't know what's up with this. This team, this team is really, really bad. That's really all I can say about it. <laughs> oh man, I I had to end my stream. It was so bad, man. Couldn't look at it anymore. Couldn't take it. This <sighs> six to seventeen is his current score. There's five minutes left in the fourth quarter. We're gonna lose this game. Trust me. There's, I know there's five minutes of game time left, which is a lot of time in real life. But all it takes at this point is for a team to score double digits on us, and that's it. Because our offense can't respond. The defense was doing a pretty good job. I mean, they allowed 10 points and a half. They kind of went back to their old self with allowing a team to score right before halftime hits. So there's that. But it was a good defense for the most part. The entire third quarter, they did everything in their power to prevent the Dolphins from scoring. It's going to break at some point. You can't expect the defense once again to be like the best defense in NFL history and not allow a single score ever. Like that's just not going to happen. You know what I mean? But, man, we knew we were going to take a hit with Mike Glennon in and Daniel Jones out as our quarterback. Let me adjust the mic a little bit here. We knew that we were going to take a hit with that. But this was another type of hit. After the first quarter, in my head, I was thinking there's not much of a difference between these two quarterbacks. <laughs> and then after that, woo, after that, you really see why Mike Glennon is a backup. For anybody that um wanted to, you know, kind of compare to myself included, we were, in my opinion, we had a better chance with Daniel Jones. I don't know if Daniel was gonna win us this game, but I think we had a better chance. Um, positive. Let's talk about some positive. So Aziz Ojolari is now the Giants' rookie sack uh, record holder with six and a half sacks on the season. Maybe he's gonna get more. Maybe he's gonna get more as the game goes on. I know Quincy Roche also had a sack early on in the game as well i'm not sure if they credited lorenzo carter with a sack or a half a sack or whatever the case may be but uh, i on that same play that uh aziz went up on the middle came through unblocked uh lorenzo carter was coming through on the right side with a lot of pressure and that's what kind of made that sack happen but let's focus on positive right aziz got another sack he's now an official giants record holder quincy roche got another sack our two rookies those two guys specifically that we've been very excited about are showing why we should be excited about them, right? What else? Um, <laughs> trying to think here. Uh, Jalen Waddle, uh, you know, he was kind of carving us up at some points in the game, but it wasn't like a necessarily a dominant, dominant performance where it's like every single pass this man was catching was going for like 10 yards or whatnot. We were holding him off. I'd say it was 50 50. There's. I, uh, secondary wise, um, nothing that impresses me too much because this, this Dolphins offense, at least the way it was playing during this game, made it so hard for me to distinguish whether or not they're just that bad or our pass defense is that good, if that makes any sense, right? Like, there's, and the reason I seem so tired so lost about this game is because it's the, it's the same thing it's the same thing just a different week same thing just a different day just a different game ash shout out to ash she was doing the stream with me um this week and he said this last week the giants are a bipolar team one week they play extremely well they could hang with some of the better teams i won't say best but they could hang with some of the better teams in the nfl give them a run for their money and, and occasionally win those games and then the very next week, they look like the worst team in the NFL. And, and I mean, I think we are genuinely one of the worst teams in the NFL. We're definitely like, I'd say bottom, bottom seven, maybe bottom eight. You know what I'm saying? It seems like Detroit Texans and whatnot, they're 100% worse than us. But we're not, not too far off. And our draft position shows that. We'll, if we lose this game, I'm pretty sure we stand pat at around the fifth or sixth pick in the draft. So... There's that. And I mean, in terms of positives on the offense, um, Devontae Booker was doing Devontae Booker things. Saquon Barkley was doing Saquon Barkley things. And what I mean by that isn't, isn't good things. Saquon Barkley, bad things. Dancing before trying to hit the hole a couple times as usual. 
you see there's a hole here you can't hit it but then also one thing i was keeping track of during the game was counting plays that didn't succeed in the run game for saquon and i was trying to see how much of it is on him how much of it is on the offensive line and honestly it, it's 50 50. there's times during the game where two three guys are getting through the line immediately and tackling saquon it's like you can't expect them to do anything there at one point in the first quarter it was actually like six miami dolphins guys and then there's times during the game where i'm seeing him doing a little shuffle dance with his feet instead of just running straight ahead and hitting the hole or i'm seeing him running backwards on a catch or dropping catches you know i mean dropping passes and whatnot and it's just like you're you're doing you're doing things that shouldn't be done you know what i mean um then of course mike glennon and with the passing one thing i will say in the first quarter we took we took a lot of shots that i like deep shots intermediate shots i like the passing game a bit better but then it just went downhill it went back to what we expected and glennon is just not a good quarterback you know he doesn't have a great internal clock um that a uh, jalen phillips sack where uh phillips I'm going to put quotation marks around this. He beat Andrew Thomas for the sack. I don't know if you consider it beat if Thomas held up against him and didn't allow him to get past for like about two, two and a half seconds. That's more than enough time in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Average pocket time is like around one point something or, or you know, high pocket time is going to be around two seconds. Thomas did his job. It's just that you just like how you can't expect a defensive back to completely cover a receiver for like three seconds down the field. You can't expect a left tackle or offensive lineman for that matter to continue to fight off an edge defender for more than like three seconds the edge defender is going to get through at some point you know uh, glennon also threw the ball at john ross's feet kenny gade had a rib injury scared like now we're getting into all the bad things right and it's like kenny gade and the rib injury thing was probably on a play that should have been flagged for the dolphins player like he hit him while gade was out of bounds it wasn't even a hard hit so i guess that's why the refs didn't throw the flag but it caused Gale to step out for, you know, a good amount of time, I'll say. It's just... Ah... Uh, man. I don't know what to say, man. And keeping it on the offensive side of the ball there, Evan Ingram was also having a good game for a while. And then he does the most Evan Ingram thing. Pro crucial third down in the third quarter. He gets open. So we throw him the ball. For some reason, he does a 360 move, turns in a full circle, then looks at the ball, sees it towards the outside, tries to reach up, and one-handed. Just catch the ball, Ingram. Just track the ball and catch it with two hands. Why'd you do a 360? Why'd you try to one-hand catch it? And of course, we all know what happens. It ends up as an incomplete pass. I'm not even sure if you, you could count it as a drop. Why, Ingram? Why? Do you know how much that could have changed things for us? All in all, I'm going to keep this kind of a short video. It's just disappointing. But much of the same, very, very much of the same. Offense continues to be really, really bad. We're missing our quarterback, so you are expecting some struggles. Yeah, man. The defense did their job as much as they can, but... You could only hold out for so much. Not much else to say. That's it for now, guys. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.